we need as many attractions in the community to bring people in from the Hoosier Heartland Highway as we can. And chief among those attractions is the Delphi Opera House. The Opera House began as City Hall, built in 1865 and named for the Grand Hall on the third floor. The first event was a ball for soldiers returning home from the Civil War. In 1882, it was converted to an opera house, adding a balcony, fine wall coverings, tiered flooring, and folding theater seats. But in 1914, the opera house was closed for having only one exit. The theater became a storage room for the next 80 years. A lot of the businesses were empty, for rent, for sale, and it didn't look very promising. You wouldn't see any cars. It looked like a ghost town. After 5 p.m., everybody go home. We were sort of at a threat versus opportunity, and it was make or break time. In 1995, the Hamilton Street Bridge collapsed under the weight of a utility truck that was way over the weight limit. So an unfortunate accident kind of led to a fortunate outcome. The Preservation Society received a settlement, and with that settlement, we were able to purchase two-thirds of the Opera House building. It was a mess up in the Opera House full of discarded merchandise, shipping crates, fallen plaster and wallpaper hung in shards. By 1997, the Preservation Society was able to get the building listed on the National Register of Historic Places and started an amazing cleanup. After buying the final one-third of the building in 2007, the Society began restoring the front facade, capturing lots of attention with the progress. In the historic theater itself, we widened the proscenium for better sight lines and removed the fixed seats and tiered flooring. Five of the original Victorian wallpapers were reproduced and other decorative elements restored, including faux bois finishes. And a grand stair was added from the ground floor ticket lobby. When I first walk in here, the thing that really grabs me every time are the wallpapers. I love to be able to take people up here who have not seen the space before and their reaction as they walk into the room and they're just awestruck. They're always amazed when they get here. One word, transformation. Preservation. It's the rebirth of Delphi. I think the Opera House has become the new centerpiece for Delphi. Um, it's great for our community, it's great for this business, yeah. and, and now where it is today, and we have a performance tonight. So tonight they've got Tad Robinson. He's a great blues artist. It's going to be a great event. Congratulations to Delphi Preservation Society, winner of Indiana Landmark's 2017 Cook Cup for outstanding restoration for its transformation of the Delphi Opera House. I'm going to keep on living and enjoy myself some kind of way. And when I go to work tomorrow morning, yeah, I look forward to another day. Cause it's like my baby sold me with every move she makes. Well, there's more good than bad.